Have you noticed that every other celebrity in existence seems to be launching a skincare brand all of a sudden? Why are they all jumping on board an industry that doesn't have much to do with them? Are any of those brands worth your time and money? Hmm, let's talk about it. Hi, my name is Yurai and I stan all things skincare. I tried out tons of products, some great, some good, some not so good. So I always approach celebrity skincare brands with a dose of suspicion because I got burned quite literally a few times. So what about the whole celebrity boom that happened? Well, the connection between celebrities and the beauty industries go back decades and decades. I mean, it makes sense. Our famous people have historically been linked to beauty, youth, and glamour. All of those things that customers seem to seek when buying their beauty products. But there has been a major switch between celebrities working with skincare brands to celebrities making their own skincare brands in recent years. I think you can see how there is definitely a stark difference between a celebrity borrowing their name and likeness for a company that is already tried, true and tested, and a celebrity coming out with dozens of new skincare lines that are increasingly hit and miss. So recently we had skincare lines by Jennifer Aniston, Rihanna, Millie Bobby Brown, Kylie Jenner, Alicia Keys, Priyanka Chopra. Selena Gomez, Pharrell Williams, Emily Ratajkowski, Carmen Electra, Vogue Williams, Jessica Alba, Miranda Kerr, Maya Jema, Trini Woodwall, Victoria Beckham, and even Ellen. Now, while I do believe that some of these celebrities actually like skincare, I highly doubt that they are all truly suddenly so passionate about skincare and that it comes from an honest place in their heart. The reality is skincare is a $180 billion industry. It is a large cake and everyone wants a piece of it. While the markets of celebrity fragrances and celebrity makeup have kind of been saturated in the past decade, celebrity skincare became the new go-to thing. So what is the ultimate goal of these celebrity brands? Why do we even do it? Well, most of them are using their celebrity and influence to make the skincare line successful enough so it becomes very valuable and ultimately sold to a bigger beauty conglomerate. For example, Kylie Jenner sold her beauty company Kylie Cosmetics to the beauty giant Coty for a whopping $600 million. Even for a super wealthy celebrity, that kind of money is a big deal. And they all want their shot at it. But what about us, the consumers? Well, it seems we often get the short end of the stick. These celebrity launches are so common nowadays, it seems like only a fraction of them are actually focused on the quality of the ingredients and the formula, and that beyond marketing, there is very little value to us consumers. While there have been some exceptions to that rule that took the fair route and actually created something that is worth your time and money, most of these celebrity brands are overpriced fluff that I would call a cash grab. Now, I usually don't like to name names in a negative contest, but when JLo's eponymous brand launched, the singer was marketing it by saying that the brand is the secret as to how she's maintained her youthful glow without other treatments such as Botox or fillers. If you followed skincare or Jennifer Lopez at all, you might choose to see some discrepancies in that story. But for many people, especially fans, they will believe anything their favorite celebrities tell them. And so these celebrities feed off the insecurities of their fans. They take their money and what's worse, tell them that these products are the secret behind their amazing looks. And when those people don't get the same glowy results as, for example, Jennifer Lopez, they think something is wrong with them. Ethically, you can see how this is quite problematic. Celebrities have access to incredible dermatologists, estheticians, and beauty procedures worth hundreds of thousands of dollars. They have teams of people working on the way they look. 
And this is something you need to remember before buying a celebrity skincare product. Just try to remember that your skincare doesn't have to have a celebrity stamp of approval for you to get good skin. While there are some really good celebrity skincare products out there, most of them are just preying on your own insecurities. Instead, I recommend researching ingredients and reading reviews from real people with real skin problems. People without teams of beauty experts around them working around the clock to make them look flawless. And if you do choose to invest in a celebrity skincare product, make sure to know what is in it and if it's the right fit for your skin needs. Talk soon.